An emergency mission in the Middle East. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon met with Palestinian and Israeli officials, calling for an immediate end to the fighting. While both Palestinians and Israelis have been killed, the vast majority of victims have been Palestinian. UN and aid agencies are bringing relief to families displaced in the Gaza Strip. More than 100,000 displaced Palestinians are seeking shelter in UN-run facilities in the area. Some of those schools and hospitals have been attacked. In Geneva, the Human Rights Council decided to launch an independent inquiry into potential human rights violations by Israel in Gaza. Navi Pillay told the council that Israel had not done enough to protect civilians in its fight against Hamas. Respect for the right to life of civilians, including children, should be a foremost consideration. Not abiding by these principles may amount to war crimes and crimes against humanity. At the end of the week, Mr. Bond was in Iraq calling for an inclusive government that could unite the country. Meanwhile, Mr. Bond's representative briefed the Security Council from Baghdad, urging members to stop the armed group known as ISIL. The Security Council should demand in no uncertain terms that ISIL cease all hostilities and atrocities and call upon member states to cooperate in efforts to enforce existing sanctions and call the accountable, the perpetrators, organizers, sponsors of these horrific acts, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. In another meeting, the Security Council called for an international investigation into the downing of a passenger airplane in eastern Ukraine. The Council demanded that armed groups in control of the crash site give investigators unhindered access. And the slowdown in human development, the UN reports that natural disasters, poor government policies and inequality are taking a toll on our lives. The 2013 report was about how so many more people are doing better, particularly over the last decade. And this year's report is also trying to look at those who have not done so well, but also look at how the world itself uh, is getting a little bit more fractious, a little less predictable. And there's a growing sense of in unease as if somehow people are not in control over their own destinies. And it's both at the country level, it's also at the global level. And this report tries to dig into those issues of vulnerability and then try to understand what policies, what measures are needed to make people and societies more resilient.